In what ways does your media product use, challenge and develop forms and conventions of real media products? Whilst researching forms and conventions of social realism media products, we found that a large handful used a voiceover in their openings. Collectively, we loved the impact of having the main protagonist as the nar narrator. <laughs> Collectively, we loved the impact of having the main protagonist as the narrator, and we felt that this gave a more personal touch, allowing the audience to empathise with the speaker. Inspired by the lovely bones, as well as train spotting and love actually, our film opening uses the main protagonist as the voice of the narrative. The music in our opening sequence reflects the feel of our film being melancholic. Using music is a common convention of an opening sequence and can be seen in many openings including Submarine, Twilight and Seven. Based on our chosen genre of social realism, it was important that our locations were relatively natural and reflect the idea of a typical everyday life of a girl belonging to a working class family. By presenting footage of Blur in her plain bathroom, it allows the audience to feel as though they're experiencing a direct insight of her daily routine, thus emphasising the realistic approach of our opening. The toned down hues of blue and purple in particular create a rather sombre atmosphere which contribute to the sad nature of the storyline. As a group, we felt that a beach setting such as Pet Beach would be ideal in regards to Fleur of Pet reflecting upon a situation as the speech in particular is free of people and quite secluded. Uh, we named our film after our main protagonist as we had put a lot of thought into her name. Additionally, the film's narrative focuses on her story, so naming the film after her made sense. We chose to call our protagonist Fleur as she is a delicate and fragile character as her name suggests. By using an eponymous title, we are developing the conventions of the social realism genre, as films in the genre are rarely named after the main characters, though there are exceptions to this rule, um, for example Billy Elliot. From researching and studying a range of social realism films, it is apparent that many establish the protagonist in the opening of the film as they are to be the predominant focus throughout. Examples include Fish Tank, Train Spotting and Submarine, whereby we are introduced to the main character through a voiceover. In terms of our opening, both the voiceover and visual shots have been used to establish the protagonist. The majority of social realism films present footage of working class characters in their homes whereby they are seen to be carrying out typical activities such as washing, cooking and getting dressed for example. We incorporated this through the footage of Fleur taking medication in her bathroom while in her pyjamas. Although taking medication for terminal illness is not a typical routine for many, the inside of her in her basic bathroom and her pyjamas is a typical convention of a social realism film regardless of her health situation. Furthermore, her walk to the beach and sitting on the bench by the public footpath represents an activity enjoyed by many, many ordinary people. The montage section in the opening also develops the conventions of the social realism genre. It is realistic in portraying first thoughts and feelings, something which is typically prevalent in social realism films. However, the style of the flashback is not normally used in a film of this genre.